plaintiff, Rebecca Becker, met the defendant when she agreed to rent a room in his home. But she eventually fell in love with him, and they got engaged. Rebecca claims one day out of the blue, the defendant kicked her out without notice. And she's suing for an illegal eviction, moving costs, and emotional distress. Defendant Albert Kramer says he was never in love with Rebecca, and he never asked her to marry him. But she stole his ex-girlfriend's ring and claimed they were engaged. Albert's countersuing Rebecca for the cost of a tummy tuck. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, um, I posted an ad on Craigslist looking for housing. I stated what I could afford and what I was looking for as far as what I needed. He answered my ad, and I was at my, my witness Jackie's work one day, and he texted me and said, do you want me to pick you up? I said, OK. He took me to his house, and it was a nice house. He told me the day that I went and met him that he said, if you're with me, you can have all of this, and um, it'll be good, and it'll only get better. Um, I was like, you're 900. This isn't happening. I'm not going to be with you. And I said, I would like to rent a room. Mm -hmm. And um, so we just had spoken back and forth because I was in a halfway house at the time. <sighs> About three days after we met, he, I told him I have a boyfriend in another town, and I don't don't really want to be with you. Um, he took me shopping the second day we met, and um, he got my nails done, took me out to dinner. and um, Even though you knew he was interested in seeing you? Absolutely knew he was interested, but I mean, I wasn't opposed to him taking me out. I had been in prison for three years, and um, I was still at the halfway house. And um, uh, I told him about my boyfriend. He said, well, break up with him and be with me. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, he really made me believe that, that he loved me. Him. What did he do to you to make you cry today? He, I don't know how you go from loving someone in the morning to kicking them out that night and just... So you all were in love? I was. Okay. See, I missed that. All right. I mean, because how long after meeting him did you move in? Um, about four days after we met. I was, I was okay with moving in with him. Did you intend to pay rent? There was never any... So you were in love within those first four days? I wasn't in love with him in the first four days, mm -hmm. but I was definitely bedazzled. I was like, wow, he is treating me so great, and he connected with me. What he... day did you tell him about your boyfriend? The third day. You went from, I got a boyfriend, I don't want to be with you because of my boyfriend, to, I'm bedazzled, let me move mm -hmm. in. Um, no, I'm bedazzled. Let me call my boyfriend, break up with him. Al sat there and watched me call him on face to FaceTime. And, um, what I just... did you do, Doc? You <laughs> are the man! <laughs> My God! I, I mean, honestly... You are something else! That, that's a Thank real you. thing. Linda be here tomorrow. Keep her away. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, he was How'd like... you have this woman? In three days, she refused you. It was actually four. Oh, wow. And then, when you say, call him and tell him it's over. I'm the captain now. <laughs> that's, that's, and she did it? Your Honor. Our own admission. Your Honor, that's not exactly how. Nothing it. against you, ma'am. He's the man. That's <laughs> all. I'm not going to question it's you. Like, yeah, he's incredible. the man. He was You're the man. Really good. So. Oh, how you like? What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. You tell me what type of magic you work. It was four days, and she explained when I told Let's her... Let's start off from the beginning. Right. She said she was just looking for a place to stay, and you began hitting on her immediately. No. And she tried to tell you those first three, at least, that she didn't want to be with you. Go ahead. I would pick her up after the first day we met. I picked her up in a bar, a gaming bar, where she's not supposed to be because she was on parole. We went to my house. She liked the house. She asked me if I'd pick her up at the halfway house where she was staying the next day. So I did. I All of this is en route to her looking for a place to stay. Right. All right, go yeah. ahead. So I take her to either work out or to my house. I do my work while she was working out. 
Then I'd bring her there, and she'd watch TV all day, every day. This is before moving in? Yes. And then when she finally got the paperwork done to move in, they required a rental certificate or paperwork. Mm -hmm. So she said, put down $300 a month on it, and she turned it in. And finally got approved. And when I picked her up, she had two bags of clothes, put them in the back seat, and said, I'm free. I'm moving in today. When did the boyfriend call come? That's what I want that to know came, how you got her to do that. The boyfriend call came on like the fourth day because I explained to her the situation I wanted. It was more like a live-in girlfriend because okay. I have health issues and I need somebody there with me all the time. A year and a half ago, I had double pneumonia. I was in a coma five days mm. in the hospital 16. And if my girlfriend hadn't called 911 at 1130 at night, I wouldn't be here now. Mm. And so how does that relate to her moving in that fourth day? I explained to her. And her what, calling. Mm -hmm. I explained to her what I was looking for was more of a living right. girlfriend. And what did she say? She said, I have a boyfriend. And I said, well, this isn't going to work. Because if you have a boyfriend, you're not going to be a living girlfriend with me. I, it doesn't work that way. And she said, I'll call him and break up. And she did. Then, when did you all fall in love? How long after that? We were never in love. She said she was. Well, we were no. in love. I was in love with him. I know that. Did she ever tell you she loved you? I don't recall ever hearing that did word. Did you ever tell him you loved him? Uh, all the time. No, I did not. Go ahead. I never told her I was in love with her. I never asked her to bury me. The ring she took from me was my ex-girlfriend's engagement What do you mean ring. took from you? You mean accept as your fiancé? Is that what you mean? Yeah, because she wasn't my fiance. I never asked her to she marry She stole me. the ring. Yes. And put it on her finger? I would let her, when we go out gambling, she kept telling me guys were hitting on her because she's pretty. So I said, look, I can let you wear the ring when we go out. That way it'll stop that stuff. So I did. And then we take it off, put it back in the box, and the day she left, she took it. How long after meeting him did you fall in love? I don't, I can't give you an exact day, like, it just weeks, happened months? weeks. Weeks? Weeks? I had been in, incarcerated a long time, and mm -hmm. uh, he acted very interested in me. He was very attentive. He was... Served your emotional needs, yes. which is love. He mm -hmm. was very, very good in bed, and we Whoa. really hit it off as far as being friends, and he paid attention to me, and he valued me, it seemed like, and I really, I really believed him. Okay, and how did it go when you all were together? Um, well, we were only together two months, ten days, and, um, the first month and a half was great, um, but I slowly started noticing, like, he would be rude to me. He started calling me names, belittling me, um, being disrespectful. Um, my friend Jackie would come to pick me up for, uh, a lunch date, and we went to go somewhere, and she said, do you have your ID? And I said, well, Al keeps it for me. She said, why would he keep your ID? I said, well, it's just easier, you know, because he always has it. And I didn't see the manipulation. Jackie came over to help me, um, like, just have friendship and interaction with other people. And she called me and said, let's go to the movies. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, let's go. Within the first hour of being gone, he was texting, um, don't come back. If you don't like the life that I provide you, you could just stay gone. Um, he okay. said, I'm in charge. So that was why you believe he broke up with you, because you left with Jackie and he thought you were into something. I think, yeah, he was just okay. really Okay, let me hear from you, sir. The afternoon that she left, I was in the backyard and she comes out with a glass of wine. Well, I asked her, why are you drinking wine? You don't even like my wine. And says, there's nothing else. Well, when she moved in, I had to hide all the alcohol. Wow. I put it because it was against her probation. Is that You're not true, allowed to have any alcohol in the house. Well, you prohibited from drinking alcohol. There was no stipulation in my parole packet stating that I couldn't drink alcohol. That's so what she told me. When you tell me what would happen then when you brought that up to Before, her about alcohol and why she shouldn't use it, what would she say? She said, I quote, I do what I want. I think she was using me from the start for anything she When did you get. discover that? After we got the tummy tuck. How long after knowing her did you pay for her to get a tummy tuck? It was like two and a half, three weeks before she left. I don't have the exact date, okay. but I did it because she told me they had lowered the price from 12000 to 8000 if we paid that day. She told me she had $1,800 in savings, and she'd give me 1500 to start off with, 
and pay okay. me back out of her checks. All right, let me hear from her, ma'am. You were telling me about the breakup and you were getting to uh, the eviction, I suppose. But go ahead, you tell me. He told you not to come back. Um, well, I have a lot of text messages here that um, show that, um, that I cared about him and that I wanted to be with him. And uh, he... Let's see those. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's a, a bunch of them. Give, you have 10 pages. Do yeah. all 10 pages refer to your love? Um, let's see, this one here does. Okay. And then okay. these That's one. That's one. Um, let me see, this one here. You see that one that she has identified so far. Uh, give me another one. <clears throat> Both of y'all talk crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll read the part you're probably referring to. I know I had no one and nothing when you met me. I never used you. I loved you and was committed to you and us. This is what throws me off. The next statement is by him. One bottle a night and it never makes me angry or crazy. It's raining here again. This is what he says. <laughs> you say, hmm, I love the rain. He says, me three. <laughs> you say, I can't believe I gave you anything. I feel cheaper for having shared my body with your cheap A. Oh. I only felt special and loved at the very beginning. Now I feel used, but smarter and stronger for having left you and doing my own life on my own without you, regardless of the fact that you kept everything I had. You already got everything you're going to get from me. This is you. I'm tired of the lies and the deceit. It will only hurt for a little while because you have showed me who you are. Yeah, she did fall in love. I told you, you the man. <laughs> yeah, this woman don't say this unless she's in love. You are the man. You need to take us all back. Go and get the staff. He can give us some lessons. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And the eviction. Tell me what happened when you understood him to evict you. He said he doesn't want you there anymore. Go ahead. He told me not to come back, and he told me that he had loaded guns in the house. Let me see that. And did he ever say why? Um, I don't speak up. Why did he, he didn't ever really I'll set a direct reason the, why. And when I leave, I'll lock the dogs in the house and set the alarm. You easily forget I am the one who is in charge. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll have everything you came here with boxed up for you in exchange for the ring. You can have friends and police escort you here to get your things, and they can come in and see my shotgun and air rifle in the bedroom when they escort you out. The guns are now in the house and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what do you say to this? She, um, she says it was an illegal eviction. Well, I would think that you have to pay rent before you're evicted. She never paid a dime of rent. And what actually happened that night was she told me she was going out partying and dancing with her girlfriend, and I said, you're not supposed to be doing that because you're still on parole. And she said, I do what I want to do. That never Later, happened. she texted me and said, I don't know what time I'm going to be home. And I told her, I said, Becca, if you like who you're with and you like where you are, stay there and don't come back. All right. And I read all the other things she said as well. And um, that is indeed an illegal eviction. She was your tenant. It's just like any other tenant that moves in and don't pay rent. You got to go to court and get them out. You're not the only one that doesn't get your rent from your tenant. So you have to get a court order. And I know the moving costs. What is the emotional distress for? Um, Your Honor, I had just had the surgery that he, he didn't insist upon it, but he surely was all about it when I, when I got it. I had consultations at a bunch of different places that he had taken me to, all of them. My income a month at the time was $490, and so there was no realistic way that I would have even talked about doing something of that nature at that expense. So when he had gotten it done on May 2nd, he kicked me out May 11th, and um, I still had 17 inches of stitches across my stomach, and uh, I was not able to get homeless um, assistance because I was disabled and I wasn't able to go on bunk beds or anything. I went directly from prison to him, and then 
everything I had he had given me, but then he kept everything I owned when he didn't allow me back into the house. And through parole, I wasn't allowed to go in the house anyway, so I had to call my, pro my parole officer and tell him that I had to be out of the house. It was just a nightmare. Sorry, let me hear from you. I would have never mm -hmm. offered to pay for the tummy tuck if she hadn't told me she was going to give me the $1,500 down from her savings account and never offered to get any money to me ever since. When you ask, what would she say? I can't go anywhere because I'm in so much pain. Go anywhere as in? To the bank to get the money. Okay, you assume she out. had it? She told you she had it in the bank? Yes, sir. Even though she wasn't paying you? Right. And didn't have a place? Correct. All right. When was the last time you asked for it prior to breaking up? I only asked for the money one time, mm -hmm. but she would never be with me in the house intimately or anything. She would just lay on the couch, and every time I'd say, can we go out, I'm in too much pain. I don't feel good. But yet she has enough good feelings to be able to go out with Jackie, have Jackie come over to the house. And she has time to have fun with her girlfriends, but not with me. Your counterclaim? $5,000, you say she agreed to pay you, and she was to pay you $1,500 the first week. And when was the rest to be paid? Monthly, when she got her check. How much per month? She didn't say. Okay, was she getting her check? I don't know. I didn't delve into her okay. personal finance. So you didn't have an agreement. All right, so you have any defense to the eviction other than she wasn't a tenant, as you believed the case to be? That's your only defense? You didn't believe she was a tenant? All right, she was. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. He lied a lot. I was there. Like, he lied so much about it. He wanted to marry her. I asked him, when do you want this wedding? He goes, I'm thinking about June. Can you guys, you can work on that together. And so we were happy to plan the wedding. That's not true. I never asked her to marry me. She mentioned marriage, and I told her, if we're together for six months, then we can discuss it. That's, that never happened. I was there at the house. She was only at the house one time. I've, I've been only there seen a her few one times. time in my life. Well, Al, I mean, I'm glad that you just have look at the camera speak up. Pictures of prostitutes giving you oral sex that you sent to me and that you're just a hurtful human. And I hope that you have to have a better life without me.